So today I'm talking about a P0776 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0776 code? Well, it's a pressure control solenoid B performance or stuck off. And what does this mean? Well, transmissions have a lot of solenoids inside of them. They can have shift solenoids, pressure control solenoids, clutch solenoids, different things like this. And when you get a P0776 code, one of these solenoids, mainly that pressure control solenoid B, is having some kind of problem. The computer's seeing some kind of issue with it. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And depending on your vehicle and your transmission, there could be different types of solenoids and they could be located differently. Sometimes they could be located on the outside and then other times they could be located on the inside. And so for this reason, if you do go to work on your transmission, then be sure to get a diagram for your specific vehicle, for your transmission, because there is differences on what's going on. And you will need to get a schematic to know for sure where everything's located and what's going on inside the wiring and different things like this. And one thing to note is that working on a transmission can be kind of hard to do since there could be many small parts and different components. And quite often you have to drain the fluid and remove the transmission pan and work inside of there on small components and things like this. So be sure to keep that in mind that it can be kind of difficult to do this. Also, another thing to note about this code is that many times when people get this code, they go out, they get their transmission fluid flushed, and they replace it with all new fluid and try to get the code to clear. And this may or may not be a good idea. If your transmission doesn't have high mileage or it's been maintained regularly where that fluid's been replaced when it's supposed to be replaced, then doing that may be okay. It might help solve the problem. But if your transmission has really high mileage on it and that fluid's never been replaced, quite often it's not a good idea to go through and flush out all that transmission fluid and replace it with new fluid. This might sound kind of strange, but it's very common for a high mileage transmission that's never had the fluid changed to go have the transmission fluid replaced or completely flushed. And then like a week later, you're getting all kinds of codes and different things like this. So you can do a little bit more research on that, on your particular transmission and what's going on. But just keep in mind that if your transmission does have high mileage on it and that fluid's never been replaced, sometimes replacing it does more harm than good. And so what are some possible causes of a P0776 code? Well, the first thing to do is go check your transmission fluid. Be sure it's at the correct level and it's not low. Also, be sure to check that transmission fluid. Be sure it doesn't look like really dark and dirty or discolored or anything like this. Some newer vehicles, they no longer allow you to check the transmission fluid. It's all enclosed. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can go and check it, then be sure that's not real low or anything like this. If the fluid's real dirty, then the filter inside the transmission might be clogged up. It might be having some kind of problem. If your transmission doesn't have high mileage or it's been maintained regularly, you can go get the fluid replaced and see if that solves the problem. If your transmission has real high mileage, then like I said before, there can be some issues with this. One thing you can do with high mileage transmissions is that you can save the old fluid, but you can replace the filter and then you can add the fluid back in or you might be able to add in like one new cord, a transmission fluid or something like that. Like I said before, sometimes this could cause issues. So do your own research on that. But the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. The next thing that could cause this is a bad pressure control solenoid B or the wiring going to that pressure control solenoid. Like I said before, you will need to get a diagram where all those solenoids are located and things like this so you know which one it is and you know which one to go and test and replace. Sometimes it can be located on the outside, which makes it much easier to go and work on to test and replace and things like this. But very commonly, they are located up inside of the transmission where you have to drop the transmission pan. Once you locate that solenoid, if you have a multimeter, you can test it. You basically check all those windings and everything for resistance. You check to see what the ohms are and be sure they're correct. If it's open, then you know it's bad. You can also check to see what the rated ohms are for that solenoid for your particular transmission, since there can be some differences. And you can check it, and if it's not right, then you know it's bad. Also keep in mind that the wiring going to the solenoid, if there's any kind of problem with it, if it's got an open, a short, there's a bad connection inside of here or something like that, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. So be sure to keep that in mind. The next thing that could cause this problem is a faulty transmission. There might be some kind of mechanical problems going on inside of that transmission that's just throwing everything off or it's not allowing one of those solenoids to work or something like this. And this would be something like a bad valve body or some type of other mechanical problems. Usually if you're only getting a P0776 code, they're very likely that solenoid's gone bad or there's some kind of issue going on in the wiring going to that solenoid. But if you're getting a lot of other codes, then there might be some kind of other issue going on inside of that transmission and it might have just fell. So the next thing on the list is going to be a faulty transmission. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's a faulty computer. Something's gone wrong with the powertrain control module or the transmission control module. And this isn't too common. 
this is fairly rare for a computer to fail, but it is possible that something's gone wrong with one of those computers and they're having some kind of issue. If you do think it's a computer problem, be sure that your battery is good, that your alternator is output in the correct voltage, that's not too high or too low. Also, sometimes these computers get a bad ground. So if you have a ground wire, quite often you could jump her to the case and then to a good ground and see if the problem goes away. But like I said, it's kind of rare for it to be a computer problem. Usually when you get a P0776 code, it's either going to be that solenoid or the wiring going to the solenoid. But the last thing on the list is going to be a faulty computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0776 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.